Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. Right guys, so this is going to be a uh, Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon and as well Taurus Rising. Monthly Tarot reading, December 2019 and just bear with me a few seconds here to shuffle the Tarot cards. And we can jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which represents the topic uh, for your month Taurus is going to be the Tree of, uh, the tree of Cups, <clears throat> followed by the next one here which represents the challenges that you will have to overcome throughout the, uh, throughout the month, excuse me, that is going to be uh, the Ace of Swords. Third card which represents uh, the uh, intentions or the best way how you can tackle with the, um, with the endeavors that you are to face to face throughout the month. Uh, that will be the Five of Swords, uh, followed by the fourth card here, which stands as a, a lesson. What kind of a lesson the, the months are going to teach you? And that will be the Queen of Cups. And uh, followed by the last one, the last card, which is the fifth one, <clears throat> standing as the helpful energies, those energies that will be able to that, that that will that will help you in generally throughout the months we do have the four of wands okay so um three of cups which is the topic uh in your case is going to be catalyzed here by the seven of swords so we do have a uh passive neutrals and it looks like that there will be some sort of an, an attraction what i mean it's uh, that <clears throat> you will find quite of a, a big reason to socialize with certain type of people or with certain circles, either career-wise or either personally-wise, you know, relationship-wise. That is for the reason being is that your vision is going to be quite well synced with the vision with, uh, with these people, all right? So it's kind of like you are going to have more or less the same idea, not exactly the same, but there will be quite big correlation there in between the um, the nature of the vision and the nature of the ideas that you and those people as well are going to have, which kind of like gives a, a very good prerequisite or a very good environment, if you will, to... Um, attract a lot of friends, for example, okay, or a lot of allies also, uh, vital, not relationships, but the word that I'm searching for is um, connections, a very big connections that you can establish as well throughout this month that will help you moving forward either career-wise or either relationship-wise. And the other thing here that you are going to be to overcome with those two cards is uh, more or less the stubbornness that some of you Tauruses as well have <clears throat> and to see things in a little bit of a, uh, a different light. Those two cards is as well very good in a sense of uh, that many 
things that you are planning to do also will start giving up a result. So whatever your plans are for throughout the month of uh, December, it does look like that the foundation that you have laid for those uh, for those plans or for those a future endeavors it's it's the right foundation and you are going to see the results very very quickly as you enter up and start performing throughout the month of uh, throughout the month of december but the bigger th theme here the bigger topic it is the attraction in between you in between your individual in individuality excuse me and the individual individual individuality of the rest it's kind of like a symbiosis that is um happening throughout this month and you are going to have to find a lot of soulmates or people that are uh, you know sharing like said more or less your uh, your vision your idea and as well your goals so the next card here it is the challenges that you will have to overcome we do have the ace of swords and it's going to be accompanied with the eight of cups so these cards are a active neutrals <clears throat> and uh, the challenge it is it refers to mental clarity and as well spiritual strength. Why? Uh, that is uh, because oh, that comes from the eight of cups here. Um, how do I explain it? Well, the eight of cups is always about um, having a, a fresh wind blowing into our lives okay so it's kind of like that fresh wind blows away a um <clears throat> swampy uh, a swampy enterprises in a sense of the enterprises that are not really working out in our favor or they're not really working out the way we want them to work out so it does refer to letting go of things that are not turning out the way we expect to be and from there moving into new perspective endeavors right and the mental strength uh, the spiritual strength and the mental clarity from your behalf to realize that is going to be challenging for you so <clears throat> uh the um the general topic of the month will help you a lot with that because as we said there will be some sort of a letting go or losing the news over the stubbornness that you tourists may have over you know certain situations into your life uh, being more being more determined to do a bit a little bit more drastic measures in order to approach a better pers perspectives moving on forward with the month of December, better perspectives into a future endeavors. But uh, the biggest challenge here with those two cards, Taurus, is it's, it's about the clear picture. It is about placing the accurate diagnosis over everything that you are doing, the accurate di diagnosis over your relationship, the accurate diagnosis over your career as well so in other words the bigger the biggest challenge here for you throughout the month of december is not to deceive yourself but be true to your uh to your vision to you to your idea and above everything else toward your criteria as well which leads us to the next card here and that is the intentions the best way how you can move on uh, through the month of December and tackle with the endeavors there we do have the five of swords and it is accompanied or catalyzed <clears throat> by the hierophant card by by the hermit card excuse me so we do have an, an active enemies here and um, that is the ability to discern what is substantial for oneself what is substantial for you and what is substantial for someone else and are you not following or over trusting someone else's goal and someone else's idea than your idea like I said it's very yeah, it's very th thin line or very thin boundary here that you need to discern from because as we said at the start at the topic is that more or less you're going to have a symbiosis in between your vision and your idea but not into their entirety and therefore you need to discern these differences and move along with those people just as much as your vision goes together 
and when the vision differentiates, right, the vision of, of the future differentiates, then you part ways. It's very important. And you need to have that, once again, a spiritual strength in order to do it. And with those two cards as well, <clears throat> you need to, uh, as, a, uh, as an intentions, okay, you need to have that, um, how, how can I say it, ruthlessness, if you will. Okay, as well, uh, as well to do it, but also you need to uh, have that healthy sense of mistrust, or rather, like trust your healthy sense of mistrust and don't uh, overkill the. Um, well, when you when you give your uh, trust into someone, don't overkill it. I mean, in other words, do not blindly trust those uh, those people or those situations uh, those situations as well uh, one more thing here it is that whatever goal you set for yourself throughout the month of December should be followed no matter what okay at the end of the day those two cards are very good in regards to victory so, so <clears throat> in other words whatever you place as a goal in front of yourself, you need to have that determination that you are going to be victorious or choose carefully your battles. Do not involve yourself in a battle or a war that you don't know you can win, all right? Just jump into those battles that you are sure you can win in them. So why this is all happening? This is the lesson that you need to learn. And we do have the Queen of Cups which is going to be uh, accompanied here or catalyzed by the Four of Swords. These two cards are a, a passive neutrals and the lesson it's a bit broad, to say the least. That is uh, because uh, <clears throat> here uh, you, you are going to learn how to nurture and cherish the feelings of your heart and here i need to tell you the difference in between the feeling and emotion according to tarot that is you can have a classification for it on your own but for tarot emotion is something long lasting while feeling it's something short lived okay so for example love is emotion and exhilaration is a feeling. And just to give you an example, you can love someone, but that person can make you feel bad. They can make you feel worthless. They can make you feel poignant, all right? So um, here you will have to follow your feelings. You are gonna learn how to follow your feelings, nurturing them and cherishing them. And also, if you don't know what you feel, contemplating on it until you understand what you feel and then do things appropriately in regards to your feelings and that's why <clears throat> whenever you face you know different uh, a, a vision that kind of like matches yours to a certain extent you're gonna feel good all right that someone shares your vision someone shares your goal you know or someone shares your criteria and you have to follow that feeling this is what you are going to uh, learn not to go against yourself if you will another thing from these two cards that you're going to learn it's uh, the um the skill of um, how do i say it the skill of privacy perhaps yeah it's like whenever you figure out something you know or um you will achieve a significant breakthrough, not to brag about it, all right, or not to share it with the entire world because there are envious people, okay? People that may not or may also have a means to um, create obstacles, to cause predicaments. So that being said, in other words, you are going to learn how to keep your mouth shut. And the last card here represents the energies that are to support you we do have the four of ones and it is um catalyzed by the six of pentacles uh these are very good cards as an energies it does point that those energies will help you through finalize everything you start so or at least to close a certain chapter in it leaving nothing unfinished and probably this is why it's very important whatever goal or whatever enterprise you involve yourself in that you are sure 
you can bring it to the very end instead of just, you know, second guessing afterwards or rather like guessing maybe I will be able to or maybe I will not be able to, you know, but nonetheless, I'm going to throw myself into it. That, that should not be your standpoint, okay? Your standpoint should be, okay, that, that, that is something I can do, right? That is something that I can definitely do and jump into it. So <clears throat> those energies, like I said, will help you to reach a significant milestone or in other words said, to achieve very important cycles, finalizing a, a very important cycles, and I mean uh, in nominative here, cycles of developments. And from there, um, it will be a, a very good foundation laid of long-term plans as well to be executed moving into the month of January, maybe in the month of February as well. Uh, but another thing uh, from those two cards, it is that with those energies, you are going to quickly start understanding that uh, with the majority, you know, of your things, you do not need any help, but actually you can push forward on your own and create your own current instead of using someone else's criteria or someone else's actions. So again, we're talking about the discernment in of, of how long you can cooperate with someone and when your ideas differentiate, well, from there you have to part ways. So that being said, uh, Taurus, this was your monthly tarot reading December 2019. I think it's a good month, guys. I think that you are going to meet a lot of people in there, people with different visions, people with different interests as well, different criteria. You will uh, have a, a chance to socialize a lot and, uh, like I said, attract a very valuable allies and important connections to be brought into your world which you can use further into the future, of course, to make your life a lot more easier. So yeah, that being said, that was your reading. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.